What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here and welcome back to our primer series. Today we're gonna to be talking about melatonin, right? So um, everyone's heard of melatonin, right? And, and a lot of people are like, man, I can't sleep, I should take it, you know, or shouldn't I take it? Well, let's talk about what it is. So melatonin is a hormone that's released naturally in your body right about before you go to sleep. So a lot of times we think, I can't sleep. So maybe logically I should take melatonin because that's what makes me fall asleep. Okay, now let me tell you something. If you look at the body of literature, all the studies that are out there, they show that the data on melatonin is really inconsistent. In fact, for the, for the most part, it doesn't really help sleep quality, but what it does do is it does make you fall asleep faster. On average, you fall asleep about seven minutes faster, but you wake up and you guys notice this? Who's taking melatonin? What, how do you wake up? real tired right and it's say let's say you wake up oh man it's like I slept in too long it's 8 o'clock now and then it's 10 o'clock and you're still sleepy why well let me explain something melatonin naturally raise up when you're about to go to sleep and then before you wake up it's falling down it's getting lower and lower and we wake up and two hours after we wake up it's at its lowest during the day and that's when we are peaked we are like really ready to go right well, what happens is this, when they first started giving melatonin, they actually uh, gave only about 0.3 to one milligram. Now that mimics your body's natural melatonin production. Okay, it makes you fall asleep faster, but doesn't really help you during the night because it gets broken down in the liver. So companies knew this. So now I was literally, I was looking on, on um, online, actually on Amazon, I looked at melatonin. And the first dose that came up was 10 milligrams. Now your natural body, basically 0.3 to one milligram kind of mimics what the body is. They're giving 10 milligram doses now. So what happens is, what the most dosage, which most people dose at at least three milligrams, people wake up in the morning and it's still high. And after two hours, it's still elevated. So you're still, you're kind of groggy and sleepy. Now the other thing we know about melatonin is at the doses that people normally take, it makes you go to sleep and it makes your whole body go to sleep, including the pancreas. And that pancreas releases insulin. If the pancreas is still kind of asleep because of melatonin, when I wake up in the morning and I eat breakfast, or if I'm con consuming a carbohydrate breakfast, blood sugar will be much higher because I can't regulate blood, um, blood sugar as well. My organs are sleepy, okay? So what that basically means, guys, I'm, I'm not using insulin as well, um, and blood sugar is skyrocketing. That's not a good thing. So what I will say is, if you're gonna take melatonin, take lower dosages, like not more than a milligram. Um, and to do that, you're gonna have to break the dose up because most people don't give that low. Um, and if you do, it's not really gonna help. And if you take the doses most people take, you're gonna be tired in the morning and you're not gonna be able to con use carbohydrates as well. So for those reasons, I'm not really a big fan of melatonin, but if you are gonna take it, take it conservatively. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.